if I presented you with a head of lettuce, which I just happen to have right here. Mm. If I presented you with this head of lettuce, which was um, very carefully packaged in a package that said organic across the front of it, mm -hmm. uh, it told me as a consumer there's something special about this, mm -hmm. um, would I be able to entice you, you know, a little balsamic vinegar, olive oil, um, garlic, lemon, you know, salt uh, into a salad with me? Would you be interested in that or would you, would you view this as a lethal weapon? Uh, it's much closer to the latter than the former. I mean, I would enjoy the company of, but um, it, I'm a foodie. And for the last several years, we've been in the business of helping companies look into their supply chain to determine the compliance of their suppliers, trying to, at the same time, see if there's some transparency in the global food supply chain. So a couple of facts. Maybe not that head of lettuce, but there's between 15 and 20 different distribution nodes in the food supply chain. So what does that mean? That means that that head of lettuce, or most heads of lettuce, have relatively indeterminate origin. Um, there's some dirty little secrets in our industry. There's probably some food safety people here in the audience. And behind closed doors, when we as a community talk, and you ask the question, if you went, for example, to a particular restaurant, not Ron's, but others, let's say, um, would you have a salad? What do you think the answer is? How does no sound? So for people who know too much, in a sense, about the supply chain, that is not quite a lethal weapon, but it's not something that without a lot more knowledge you'd be willing to eat. All right, so um, failing my lettuce, ah, I, have, melon. I, have a, I have a melon for you. Uh, and, and this melon assures me that not only it is a honeydew melon, but that it is safe and certified, California grown, okay, mm. so in the United States, not the cadmium laced Chinese <laughs> you know, version. And there, there's, even a, there's even a number attached to it. Mm -hmm. There's a number sign that says 4034, which as a consumer, I'm assuming, this, is, this melon has been registered, it has a driver's license, it's, you know, it's safe, it's, you know, it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. is, is that, am I kidding myself? Uh, well, or or is that not the case? You're probably closer. Remember just a few years ago, we all thought cantaloupe was one of those safe foods. And then a couple of brothers who, if you were to look at them, you would say, well, those look like outstanding young men. They're in the farming business and through it depends on whether you're talking to a litigator or an independent observer. Um, they fail to maintain equipment properly. That's the net of it. And the cost of that is now in the hundreds of millions of dollars because the cantaloupe um, was processed in a way that it touched uh, a pathogen, listeria. And mid-30s of people died, a hundred and so are on dialysis for the rest of their lives. Um, from cantaloupe, which just got into a, a main, a major exactly. food supplier. Is that exactly. Right? Exactly. Now, here's what's interesting. And it, and it was through the cutting, just it cutting was through, through the, the cutting, cutting exactly. The, the cantaloupe. Um, in the lawsuit, and this is a problem in retail food, not necessarily as much in, in QSR in restaurants, but in supermarkets and other retail food sources. They don't have a lot of transparency in their supply chain. Their job is to keep a product on the shelf. Right. So if they're short on cantaloupe, their buyers will call the broker, who in turn will find cantaloupe. Maybe it comes from a farm that they should be doing business with, and maybe not. Yeah. So the consequence is that, that pro because of the opacity of the supply chain, the risks are higher than any of us would like, and it's going to get fixed. It's either going to get fixed because under the FDA's new Food Safety Modernization Act, they and their partner at the Department of Justice will dress a few executives up in orange and silver, or in the alternative, we'll do it because there's pressure from retailers, we see that, to improve the compliance and safety of the supply chain. That's the only way it's going to work. Yeah. Consumers can't get it done. So